Got one. It's a nice one too. Decent two and a half pound chunk, Lake St. Clair. A few casts in with the Freedom Tackle Spinnerbait coming out this year. Chartreuse and white. It didn't take long, we hooked up. Cool thing about that bait, it's got a short arm there on the R bend. I think it's gonna be a smallmouth killer, but not bad right off the get. Oh, that was cool. He absolutely choked it too. He just about ripped the rod out of my hand. See if there's another one up there. So we're out here on Lake St. Clair, it's June 29th. It's, it's post-spawn, um, you know, the fish are in migration to their summertime haunts. And there's this conception, misconception that uh, St. Clair is kind of featureless and it really truly is not. So you gotta look for little nuances. Like there are breaks out here in the main base in the lake, but they're super subtle. And they don't really show up on contours, but it might be a half a foot contour a one foot contour and a lot of times what I do, I come out in the middle of the week when I'm out in the middle of the lake and I'll look for current seams out in the middle of the lake because there's current moving through this lake every day, nonstop, 24 hours a day. And the lake is said to actually flush itself out in a day and a half. So that's a lot of current moving through the lake. So there's current pretty much in the entire lake, except for the bays, of course, where the fish spawn and uh, the fish get on, they get on subtle things. They get on little pat patches of cabbage, they get on little clean spots, they get on little dark spots. Me, the easiest thing for me to do is get around the heavier current, get behind obstructions, whether it's a lighthouse, it's a rock jetty, it's an eddy off of a point, a seawall, uh, could be a rock, could be a log. I get up shallow, I like to see them. So here on this lake, you can pretty much do whatever you want. You can catch largemouth, tons of largemouth, big largemouth population, smallmouth shallow, smallmouth out deep. So you can pretty much do whatever you want. You want to throw deep running crankbaits, you can throw deep running crankbaits in the summer. You can catch them on heavy swim baits. You can throw a heavy tube, a light tube, a drop shot, whatever you want. You know, St. Clair fits the bill to fish your style and catch fish. So it's a great place to come up and catch big smallmouth. And we've got a few today. We're going to go to some places. We're going to catch some bigger ones. So we're going to catch them up. It's weird, like smallmouth, are, they're, they're a weird creature and they do what they want, when they want. You think they're gonna be on a dark spot one day and they are, the next day you think they're gonna be on that dark spot and they're not on the dark spot, they're on the clean spot next to the dark spot. So you gotta, you gotta check it all out. We hung us something good here. It feels good, but it might not. Oh yeah. Nice. Golly. That fit. <laughs> I thought I had a five pounder. That thing's like, it's like three pounds. But uh, trailer hook, look at that. Trailer hook right there. Up here on these flats, these smallmouth, they get, you know, they blend in with the uh, the bottom. So they kind of mimic the color of the bottom and they might not have, you know, stripes. They may be more looking like a mossy bottom, sandy bottom. That's why they, they look like that. And that's why they're hard to see up here when it's shallow. And, you know, another spinnerbait fish flipped them up in the boat. Spinnerbait is straight as an arrow, not bent at all. Man, I thought that fish was a giant. I thought it was a big one. He ragdolled me. My bicep is hurting. Absolutely about ripped the rod out of my hand. The Freedom Tackle Spinnerbait, it, it, it runs super true, it runs super clean, straight up and down. Like typically you catch a, a fish on a spinnerbait, your spinnerbait gets mangled and you gotta sit there and you gotta mess with the wire to get it running straight again. But you know, that smallmouth, he 
he beat it up pretty bad when I, I brought him in. I flipped him in. Spinnerbait's running true as can be. Not one issue at all. Yeah, so this is the uh, the new Freedom Tackle uh, spinnerbait. It's going to be called the Speed Freak, and uh, it's a testament to its name. It can it can burn across the water. Um, it's got a short short arm. Uh, it's got smaller blades that put off a lot of vibration, but uh, I throw a lot of spinner baits up here on the Great Lakes, and this thing is is a gem. It's got a lot of weight forward, and it's got a short R bend there, and uh, sh short wire. So it's it's got a good profile, and I think it's going to be a smallmouth killer. Anytime I'm fishing for smallmouth, when the you know the water's warmer, you know post spawn, all the way through the summer months. I'm pretty much burning that spinner bait about a foot under the water. I'm, I'm, it's moving. Uh, later in the fall, when the water you know gets down into the you know, low 60s, into the 50s, I slow roll my spinner bait more often than than burning it. Um, like here, like we're in we're in four feet of water, so you really can't slow roll the spinner bait. It, you want to just kind of move it fast across these flats and and get a reaction bite. We're still throwing the uh, Freedom Tackle Speed Freak and uh, went to a three quarter ounce run a little deeper flat here at the mouth of the river. And uh, it's about 10 foot, rolls off into, you know, 30 feet, but the fish sit between 10, 12, 13 feet. I want a bait that can get down a little bit deeper. I'm still gonna be reeling it quite fast. I'm not gonna be slow rolling, but that three quarter ounce will get down there and try the, uh, the white on white. When I get out a little bit deeper on these deeper flats, I let the spinnerbait actually get to the bottom. You give it a little pop, you get those blades turning once it hits the bottom. And I'm just gonna kinda moderately bring it in. They'll come up, they'll smoke it if they want it. And I see a fish way off that way, which is in a place they shouldn't be. There's a big one with it, big one, giant one with it. Giant one with it. Oh man. Ow. Oh, yuck. I mean big, 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 big. Absolutely. That was a super good sign because not only, I mean, yeah, it's a it's a keeper, but his buddy was the great grandma. Fish are, they're feeding a lot. He's got some uh, feces coming out of the back there, but he went all over the boat too, I see. This is a cool knot that I tie here when I'm, I'm throwing baits that I'm not you know, like doing an impact hook set. Just bring your, go through, make a loop, bring your tag end up and just go one, two, three, four, five, come through your bottom loop, come back up to your top loop, pull on the tag on, moisten with a bit of saliva, and that is, a, a, it's, a, it's a great knot. Now, if I was flipping into cover and stuff, I would not tie that knot, but for like a swim bait or spinner bait, it works great. St. Clair, St. Clair River, special place to be. Post spawn, you know, early July, late June, these fish get up in the river, they get on the, the flats at the mouth of the river, they get on the breaks going into the lake out, out of the base and you can catch a beauty like this. Awesome day, great fishing. Oh, fantastic.